This is the Meerkat in with the Pride Market Review for November the 18th, 2015. Bullish or bearish day on Wall Street? Kaboom! Look at that. It was a big up day today on the markets, blowing through all the moving averages. Let's take a look at the numbers. SPY up 1.59%. We got the Dow up 1.47%. We had the Qs up 1.9%. And the small caps came along for the ride too, 1.69%. Look at those banks. Just lagging slightly, but up 1.18%. And the VIX was down 10.46%, down to 16.87 after some of the volatility came back in, given the world market conditions, and has now settled back down again. Silver down just slightly at uh, minus 0 0.22. Uh, gold up just slightly at my plus 0 0.09. And that uh, dollar again just down a very just a slight fraction on the dollar. And the trend trade is on, ladies and gentlemen, for the Grok grads. Okay, here we go. What happened today? Let's take a look here at the S&P 500 chart uh, represented by the SPY ETF here. And uh, what happened is that it would kaboom right through all of these moving averages here and resistance lines. We have now recovered uh, what took us five days to lose last week. The market has now recovered in three days. We have, uh, of course, this 210 line here on the uh, S&P 500. We've crossed 51 times so far this year, which would be the $2,100 level on the uh, SPX index itself. And uh, so we are looking strong. If we look down here at volume, uh, nice, just nice strong volume here the last a few days. So this rally is good. Now it was fueled a little bit this afternoon with the Fed minutes and again indicating that they may make an initial small raise in the interest rates as early as December. Uh, and so everybody's uh, thinking about what might happen there. Uh, I'm just going to trade what I see. I don't care what the news is. Again, here we are on the Dow. Kaboom! Here it closed to below the 200 period moving average. Big red here on this chart and just blew right through it today. And then we have the Qs here. Now the Qs here and they blew right through that 20 moving average there. And so it's on its way back up to its all time highs. And how about the small caps? Uh, yep, they did the reverse here. They closed just above the 20 moving average here. And yesterday, it closed below the 50. So this is a major break to the upside. It's nice. And of course, the volumes are there. So uh, we do have this prior line of support and resistance here at the 117 area. And then we've got the uh, 100 moving average uh, coming into play as well. Bank boy, it just took off it so well, and the uh, fix was down big. Now, in oil, let, let's take a look here at oil. It did dip below $40 on the uh, futures contract on the WTI futures contract. It did drop below that $40 barrel level. It did end up at $40.70, but clearly we are testing those lows again. This is the uh, second day out of three that it's tested that $40 level. If they, again, if we have another leg lower here on oil, that's going to put extreme pressure on uh, many of the uh, smaller oil companies here, and especially those doing the fracking. So we are definitely on the bullish up leg here. Uh, we now have two candles of higher highs and higher lows, which we did not get that follow through yesterday, but we did get it through today. So we are now in bullish sentiment on the markets, and we are continuing to the upside here now. We uh, should pull out that bull list and uh, be looking for a bullish entries. Um, I am currently uh, bullish in my uh, swing account, and uh, yeah, it was a great day in there, uh, as many of them have triggered. After hours, uh, Green Mountain Coffee, kaboom, 15% initially on its earnings, but it's one of the it's the third lowest performing stock in the S&P 500 this year, so it uh, needed some good news to get it off of the basement there. This is the Meerkat. Hey, just remember that, as Tony Turner said, the day that composure became my only emotion was the day I became a winning trader, period. Trade well. <laughs>